Hello and welcome to the TMAP tutorial. This video will guide you through getting TMAP set up and working for your system. Firstly, you must make sure that you are either running a supported resolution or that your pixel mapping ratio is correctly set. Setting your pixel mapping ratio is gone over on the website of TMAP. Um, the game must also be running in borderless windowed mode. Now, Darkfall will only run in borderless windowed mode if your game is set to windowed and the game is running at your screen's native resolution. In my case, my screen is 1920 by 1080 and the game is running at 1920 by 1080 and I have full screen unchecked, which means that, as the tooltip says, the game will be running at a full screen borderless window. Now, firstly, you must calibrate your spin setting so that TMAP knows how much to turn your screen. To do this, first thing you must do is zoom all the way in on your minimap and go into your main map and turn off all these extra features here that get in the way of your the data on your minimap. It also helps if the background around your player marker is dark because TMAP uses some of the info around here to help determine which way it's looking. This will hold true even during main the main functions of the script, so make sure that whenever you run the script that all the extra map features are off and you are zoomed in all the way on your minimap. It will help it function well. To begin, look approximately north and press Shift F5. This will begin the auto calibration process, which can be quite a lengthy process depending on your sensitivity. People with higher sensitivities will go through this faster, and people with lower sensitivities could take uh, a fair while. In my case, I have a low sensitivity, so the auto calibration process will go fairly slow. Note that you only have to do this once, and your spin setting will be saved in the AI and I for future reference. I have sped up the video here to make it more tolerable. At this point, auto calibration is done, and you will get a pop-up telling you how what the auto calibrated amount has been set to. In my case, it has been set to seven six nine zero, which is happens to be exactly my spin amount, but the result results may vary for you. T to test this value, press Shift F seven, and that will spin you by your spin amount. What you want to see is your screen barely moving. As you can see, in my case, my screen is only slightly moving to the right, and that is good. It's moving very, very little, and the closer to no movement that Shift F7... What happens that every time you press Shift F7 is that it's spinning you by your spin amount. What you want to do is get your spin amount to be as close to 360 degrees as possible. So when you press Shift F7 once, you'll notice the screen moving just a little bit, and that means that I'm doing a full 360, and it's only off by maybe one pixel to the right. And if I change the spin amount higher or lower, it will be off by even more, so this is as close to perfect as I'm going to get. What you'll want to do is, after auto calibration is finished, note down the value that it gave you, and then test it, and try minutely adjusting the value manu the spin value manually by using Shift F6. Shift F6 will open a pop-up box that will allow you to manually set the spin value so you can get it as close to perfect as possible. Uh, the closer to perfect that this value is, the more accurate your map results will be, so make sure that you do this correctly. Note that people with higher sensitivities and subsequently low spin values may have more error in their results than people with lower sensitivities. If your spin value is below 1500, you may not get as good results as you would if your sensitivity was lower. So basically, the higher your spin value, the lower your sensitivity is, and potentially the better results you will get. Now, the spin value is controlled solely on Darkfall's mouse sensitivity. It is not affected by your mouse's DPI or your Windows mouse settings. Um, so the closer that these two dots are to the very end, the better results, better your results will potentially be. So if you want better results, you can temporarily move these sliders all the way down here and move them back up when you're finished. When you're ready, look approximately north. Make sure you have a map loaded up and press Shift tilde. Everything from now on is being done by the script. And here we are running the direction check. 
This is running direction check method 2. If you wish to use a different direction check method, simply put 1 in the I and I under the correct setting instead of 2. Um, the difference between these is largely arbitrary, they just run a little bit differently. Um, however, one person may find that one type of direction check method gives them better results than the other. Here we are running the distance check, and this distance check will run for 15 seconds. And once it's finished, the map will place a map marker on your, menu, on your map. Here it's zooming out all the way, centering you on the player, and placing a map marker within the cluster of other map markers. As you can see, I've already ran this map two other times, and it both placed them, it placed the new marker in the area of the other markers, so your map will be somewhere in this general area.